We are taking a look at Scottsdale, Pennsylvania for the fifth and final time as we stumble our way through a maze of digital nonsense. We are looking down at Scottsdale and Everson from up in the air in 1939. And as we come down on the ground, we start to look at the town the factories, the houses, the things, some of which are still here. We're coming down to a place where there was a lumber mill and there's still a lumber mill up here. And we're gonna look at something right across the tracks. This is the Southwest Branch coming through. And we're gonna look across the tracks here as we modify our visuals here just for a second and move on. Now this is where we are looking at. This is the lumber company. This is the 1890s. In the 1890s there was a brewery right here. There was another lumber company here and the next time we see a map it'll be from 1914. This lumber company will be missing, gone, and the brewery will be down here. Okay, this lumber company is still over here. The brewery, actually past tense, there was a very serious fire and all that is left of the brewery will be the walls. And we'll see that from a vantage point down around here, looking this way. And you'll see the little Baptist church, which was right here then. And it's actually moved over to around here, present tense. That's looking more or less south. You see the little church, the southwest branch, and the brewery. Having been ravaged by a very serious fire, the walls are still standing. Now we go down to Broadway South. This is around where Walnut Avenue crossed. We see the offices of Frickdom, Henry Clay Frick's operation. I almost don't want to bring the guy up because he evokes so many bad feelings with people. He had a major coke producing operation going on. Coke was what the steel mills needed to make steel. It burnt hotter than coal. They took coal and they burnt the impurities out of it. That's what's going on here. And then they put it in the big blast furnaces to make a heat high enough to create good steel. These are some of Frick's ovens where they're burning coal to get the byproduct called coke. These are coke ovens at nighttime. Burning coal to make coke sometimes took quite a while the burn would last the whole way overnight sometimes. And I have a very, very dim memory of seeing the ovens up around Glitzen, Pennsylvania, burning at nighttime. Now these are the folks who made all of that great wealth come about. These were mostly immigrants from foreign countries who took jobs in Frick's coke works and mines and in this picture they were living in a tenement 32 families in this tenement and working in Frick's coke works to make all of this wealth possible these were the people who profited from the uh, the great wealth produced people who had wonderful big houses some of which never did a day's hard labor in their life. These were hotels in Scottsdale. During the boom time, there were a lot of people coming and going. And we have a lot of motels outside of town now, but in 1910, when this photo was, these photos were taken, people didn't have many cars. Only the rich people had cars. 
And so people would come on the train or the trolley and stay in town to conduct their business and move on. Now here is something that you might not know about. Once upon a time, this was the 1890s, they were actually making electricity in Scottsdale. These were the tracks of the Southwest Branch that would leave off coal. Coal would be burnt in the burners here, the boilers. Steam would be made for the dynamos over here, which made electricity. This went on for a while, and eventually Scottsdale came to buy the electricity from outside of town. This shows 1949, the 75th anniversary of Scottsdale's incorporation. This was the old firehouse. See a couple of nice big American, the France pumpers, an international truck. And one I can't recognize. This might be an old American, the France. And it may not. Maybe somebody can tell me who knows more about fire trucks than I do. This is down toward the south end of town. This is when they were building uh, the tracks for the trolley to come across the bridge on Brown Street going over to Everson. This is in the 1950s, early, when the trolley stopped running and they paved that bridge for cars and pedestrians. This is the bridge around 1910. And we'll see that bridge right here, right now. And we'll get on to see what that looked like in 1939. That was the bridge going over to Everson. And we try to back up here now and go to over to present tense. That's Jacobs Creek. That's the bridge going over to Everson. This is Scottsdale over here. This is where the trolleys used to go over, and they do no longer. I just wanted to show this to give a picture of where Scottsdale started out. This was a little village named Fountain Mills. This is an enlargement of it. That's what was there before Scottsdale was even thought about. And I think we've said enough and I'm going to push a button and say so long until we see you again. Bye now.